In order to make our campus COVID secure, we are following the advice the government has given on what action to take, including social distancing, frequent hand washing, use of hand sanitizer where that's not possible, regular cleaning of surfaces, and encouraging wearing a face covering where appropriate and possible. The reason we're being asked to take this action is because of the type of disease that COVID is. It's caused by a coronavirus that infects the airways, lungs and throat. It spreads from person to person by tiny drops that we all generate uh, when we breathe, when we talk and when we cough. You may have heard in the news terms like airborne transmission, the droplet route or aerosol formation. In the scientific world these have quite specific meanings but they can give the wrong impression about how this virus is transmitted and what action we should take uh, to combat its spread. It can give the impression uh, that the virus can persist in the air for prolonged periods and never really go away. The droplets of water uh, that are the route by which the coronavirus that causes COVID can spread from person to person are small but like very fine rain, they're still subject to gravity and they will fall to the ground. The vast majority of these droplets will fall on the surface just in front of and within two meters of the person generating. Uh, many of them will fall to the floor uh, before that. That's why we have the two meter or one meter plus rule. Further than those distances, uh, the droplets are going to fall on the ground before they can land on someone's face or be breathed in. The droplets that may contain the coronavirus that causes COVID still pose a danger when they've landed, as they may land on surfaces like a table, a desk, or a door handle that we then touch. We all have the habit of rubbing our face, our nose, even our lips, and that may enable the virus to transfer from the surface to our hands, then to our mouth and our airways and cause an infection. However, we can combat that by frequent hand washing, thoroughly with soap for 20 seconds or more after we've touched such surfaces, or using hand sanitizer uh, where that is not possible. The evidence the scientific community has uh, points to coronavirus spreading from person to person via very close contact. It's difficult to separate out uh, whether that close contact uh, involves droplets generated by one person landing on another person's face or being breathed in. But of course people who are that close will also be touching the same surfaces and it's quite likely uh, that that is a major route of transmission as well. Whichever the route is and however they are important relative to each other, we can prevent both routes of transmission if we take the action that we're being recommended. In other words, we frequently wash our hands or use hand sanitizer, particularly after we've touched surfaces, and also that we keep our distance from other people. In this way, we can keep ourselves and our others safe from this disease.